नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स एज वी हैव बीन सीइंग एलटी स्पाइस सिमुलेशन सो नाउ वी विल सी मॉस्फेट एज स्विच सो हाउ ए मॉस्फेट कैन वर्क एज ए स्विच इन एलटी स्पाइस दैट विल ट्राई टू सिमुलेट एंड विल सी व्हेनेवर द अनेबल सिग्नल इज हाई दिस इज लेट अस से इट इज हाई व्हाट विल हैपन माय मॉस्फेट विल गेट स्विच्ड ऑन एंड दिस आउटपुट विल गेट ग्राउंडेड इट मींस इट विल बिकम लो एंड व्हेनेवर दिस इज लो द इनपुट सिग्नल इज लो और द अनेबल इज लो व्हाट विल हैपन my mosfet is not working it means whatever the voltage available at the input that will be there at output so output will be high whenever this gate will be low of the mosfet and output will be low whenever the gate of the mosfet is high okay so this particular circuit will simulate in uh, lt spice and will show it to you how does this particular switch works right so let's open this all right we had seen last time like we uh, with uh, a transistor circuit if you want to have the output voltage always uh, you know like uh, the high voltage 12 volt you can delete this particular resistor at the output so you will have always high voltage okay so whatever the voltage is there at the uh, input voltage that is 12 volt so that 12 volt will appear at this particular place okay so this is another method like you don't have to load the output without loading the output you will always get the a uh, zero and one kind of thing okay let's take another circuit and make with mosfet so same circuit what we'll do is we'll just quickly put parts let's say we are going to put one voltage source one more voltage source for the drain we'll take and then we need two resistors one resistor for gate place okay so i'll just put it at gate and one more resistor i'll put it near the drain okay and let's put part as pnp we can put for mosfet sorry uh, p mos we can put for mosfet so p m o s if you type you will get a mosfet or n mos if you put then it will become n mosfet so that was p mos n mos you'll put okay so this is how you search the part so quickly we can do one thing we can put this mosfet okay so our circuit components are ready on the uh, circuit window now we'll just put ground here and ground here and one more ground is required here now we need to connect the circuit so we quickly will wire it up so wiring this circuit with uh, for this particular circuit for our switching application okay now what we'll do is we'll just define the values of each and every components so let us say we are going to have this enable voltage as a pulse voltage okay so this will be my pulse source which will be going high low after a period of time so in that case we can go for advanced put pulse and put let's say zero volt and let us say high voltage as five volt let's say time delay as zero will put let's say one microsecond rise time one microsecond fall time let us say 10 10 millisecond will keep it high and let's say 30 millisecond will keep it low uh, sorry 20, 20 millisecond will keep it low it means period will be 20 plus 10 that is 30 okay so this is my input pulse that is done let's say gate resistance i'll just put it 100 ohm okay and then let's say this resistor i'll just keep it 4.7 kilo ohm or something or 10 kilo ohm you can keep this voltage uh, supply let's say drain voltage i'll keep it 12 volt okay <coughs> so what will happen let me run this particular circuit it is asking for a stop time so since our period is 30 millisecond so if we want some let's say three or four pulses we can have 100 millisecond time and then start saving data from zero onwards so this is the complete circuit that is done with my mosfet okay so as you as you click on this particular probe the in input voltage will come up or the enable voltage will come up so what we'll do is we'll name the node so that it will be easier for our identification which uh, which net is coming what node so let's say this is my v input so v input and let's say this will identify as v output <coughs> so right click it and change the name to v out okay good so this is my v output this is my v input or enable signal whatever uh, you want to call it you can call it okay now let's run this circuit once we run the circuit what is happening okay we have not probed it 
so once we probe this particular V input you can see 0 to 5 volt pulse is appearing with 10 millisecond on time and 20 millisecond off time so this is what we wanted for the V input so whenever my gate will be high what will happen my MOSFET will be on and in that case what will happen my output will become low because V out will get grounded so if you see V output probe so you can see V output is going to get grounded okay this is not working like this what we what what thing can go wrong let me just check it yes what we can do is we can you know like a uh, pick a new MOSFET it will be easy because this MOSFET is not able to work so what we can do is we can keep let's just say this first MOSFET is well itself we will take okay and we'll rerun it okay now it is working proper so let's say <coughs> you can see whenever for first 10 millisecond my input was high it means MOSFET is working in that case my output will be zero and whenever my output is not working okay in that case what is happening sorry uh, my output is high when when my gate is low so you can see this is high so this is my input voltage green color and this is my output voltage which is blue color okay so this is how you can work with if you want to change something uh, let us say with uh, some sinusoidal voltage or something like that you can do or uh, let us say we will just keep it let's say 3.3 .3 volt with uh, let's say we want to make it a uh, little faster uh, let us say 2 millisecond or something or 1 millisecond will keep and let's say this one will keep 3 millisecond okay so 1 millisecond on 3 millisecond off is the unable voltage so output voltage will be 1 millisecond off and 2 millisecond on so if you see see this is going to happen like this so since this is running for quite longer time what we can do is we can keep our cursor here and hold it and drag it for let us say 20 millisecond or 10 millisecond whatever it is so that many pulses will appear okay so you can see only three four pulses are appearing so whenever my enable is high my output is low which is v out and whenever my enable is low my output is high so this is how the circuit the switch circuit works in MOSFET so MOSFET as switch is very clear now hope you have a very good understanding about this particular MOSFET as switch so we have completed the transistor as switch MOSFET as switch so the same manner we, we can utilize P MOSFET we can utilize PNP MOSFET also so if you do have any questions regarding this particular uh, MOSFET switch or transistor switch you please put down your queries in the comment box and we shall be giving you the right answers thank you so much